Look, I think at a high level, we want as many New Zealanders to be able to participate in work and valued work as possible. And we know that the group in our society that, that is participating the least and getting paid the least um, are our Pacific Island community. So I think it behoves all of us to do something about that and that's why I'm involved with the Pacific Pay Gap Inquiry. Look, I think the first uh, thing that, that um, is, you know, to, is to be open and transparent. It is an issue. You know, the data doesn't lie. We can see that there's a significant gap. So let's, let's um, recognise that. We then need to have that same coherence with the solution. You know, what we don't want to produce is, is a whole set of findings and then no, no methodology or no structure to be then able to, to work this through. This will take time. There'll be some quick wins for sure, but some of these issues have existed for a long time and, and, uh, and are almost systemic. So we need to have a measured approach to, to work um, through that. I think what we've discovered so far already from the Pacific Pay Gap inquiry is it's a multifaceted issue. There are definitely some issues on the employer's side and, and obviously from my role at the Employers and Manufacturers Association we're keen to get to the bottom of that, we're keen to understand uh, what we can do um, in that space. There are issues in the education system, we have uh, way too many young New Zealanders leaving school not understanding actually how to participate in the workforce. There are some cultural issues that, that we know, so I think we really want to, to be very transparent and clear what the issues are and then have an action plan and whether that's whether you're an employer, a union or an individual so that it's very clear that we um, that we can do something about it and we can actually get that gap closed. I think for the first time in my life there are more jobs in New Zealand than there are people so we do want to make sure that that people are participating as much as possible in the workforce in jobs where they can be as productive as possible. And I think importantly when we look at the demographics of New Zealand, we know that the population growth is going to come um, from our Māori, um, our Pacifica and our migrant communities. So making sure that they are participating in the workforce and, and able to have fulfilling long-term careers in the workforce is really critical. There is a skill shortage. We're probably not going to have the open borders to immigration that we've had in the past. And so it's going to be harder to find people. So how do we develop our people? How do we, um, how do we take them on a journey with us where that they can see opportunity for them? Some of them actually quite simple by, give, by, by helping them acquire skills but they need to know that the support is there around that. And uh, in, in some cases, you know, I know from talking to our members, they have Pacific Island workers for whom English is not their first language. So how do we support them in their learning journey um, and in their development, uh, development pathway? But I think employers are absolutely up for, the, up for this and I've been really pleased with the level of engagement that we've had so far from employers. Um, everyone that I've spoken to has been keen to be involved and that's a really good thing. This is about changing the game in New Zealand uh, and removing, um, I guess, any barriers that are creating that gap. You know, that's why I'm involved. I think, you know, we can actually really, you know, make a meaningful change for New Zealand. So, so have confidence that we're doing this for you. Lean into the opportunity. Tell us, you know, tell us, you know, what your concerns are. Tell us the good stories and the bad stories. And I think be optimistic. Be optimistic that we've recognised that there's, a, there's an issue. We've got, um, we've got a serious body of work going on in the inquiry, and out of that, only good will come for, for, for people who are, um, who are currently um, at the wrong end of that pay gap. All of us should be interested as, as New Zealanders, whether you're a business person or a, or a union or um, or someone that just that uh, that just sees an inequity here, um, and, and solving this. Small steps make differences. Yeah, it doesn't have to be big changes. It can be that little extra conversation that you have with somebody. It could be uh, talking to a young person and just encouraging them and help help them with their knowledge. You know, recognise that sometimes people's inability to understand you know, how the employment uh, market works is not their own fault. So. We can all make little small contributions and if we can collect that together 
you know, within a you know cohesive plan that's marching in the same direction, then I really believe we can make we can make a difference, and everybody benefits. Everybody benefits by um, by having a more productive um, society, um, and uh, and having people more engaged in work, and and uh, and that would be a wonderful outcome to get from the inquiry.